Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123, back with you all. Today we're going to return to a video series that regrettably I haven't done anything on since, like, August, I want to say August, the end of August maybe, and that is our Braille Note Touch series of videos. I think the last one I did we were looking at keyword and how it had changed compared to, like, the Apex. So in this video, I'm going to talk about sort of what's changed and a little bit about my experience with the touch because I've had it for quite a while now. So first I'll go into my experiences. So I've had the touch now since August 11th, so quite a while. And overall, my experience is very positive. I did have to send it back for repair twice, though. But that issue has since been resolved, and the touch has been going strong since November now. So, this is the unit here. And I've been using it in classes every day since September, and it's great. Granted, there were things that could have been improved which have been improved into that in a bit. Well, as an example, one of them at launch you couldn't switch between two open documents, but now that's a feature that you can do. And I'll show that in another video. So now I'll talk about some other changes since my last video, two, yes, two software updates have been released for the Braille Note Touch, version 2.0 and 3.0. 2.0 being released at the end of October, and 3.0 being introduced in, you know, just a few weeks ago, actually. So let's go ahead and unlock it, and I'll sh talk about some of the changes. Now, a lot of the changes when we go through the main menu that you'll see count in 2.0. So let's go ahead and unlock. Locked, 4.45, Friday, March 31st, 4.45 p.m. Unlock button. Unlock it. Device unlocked. Main menu. I will turn it up a little bit. Louder. Enter with dot four. Music maybe. volume set to 60%. There we go. Now you guys can hear it. So I'm going to go through my menu using my next thumb key, which is the bottom right, well, yeah, kind of on the bottom right of the bars. So we'll go ahead. Contacts, key list. And this is all standard contacts. Email, key mail, internet, key web, word processor, key word, planner, key plan, file manager, key files, calculator, key calc, Victor reader. Play store. Now we're going to come to new cho um, yeah, new choices since I showed you this last August. KNFB Reader. The KNFB Reader is a great OCR app, and Humanware partnered with KNFB Reader LLC to include this on the Touch, so all Touch users get this app for free now, which is pretty huge. Braille terminal. And then there's also a Braille terminal. Now, as of today, I haven't had much luck with the Braille terminal. I don't know if it's something wrong I'm doing or or what, but it just doesn't, my iPhone just doesn't see the touch. All applications. And all applications. So, in 2.0, some of the stuff that was introduced was the Braille terminal mode and the KNFP reader, as well as key math, which is kind of an extension of the word processor that allows you to write math content and have it show up in documents. And it shows up in perfect math print. I'll show that in a future video. And then 
I think was the biggest and most exciting update that I've installed. And in the 3.0 update, that introduced multiple document support in the word processor, which for me was a big feature that I wanted. Better web view support. So you may, oh geez, you may remember back in August, you saw I had a few different Twitter clients on here. Well, the one I wanted to be able to use, Tweetings, the problem with that one was the web view was not accessible on the Braille Note Touch. With the 3.0 update, Google has allowed Humanware to put the latest web view components in. So now, apps with web views work perfectly. Even the apps like the Amazon app, which didn't work, I can use. Which is really great. It's great to see the touch gaining more functionality. And then also the ability to create more than two language profiles has been added. And language profiles, I don't know if I really covered that in my previous video in my previous touch videos, but I'll be covering that as well in a future video. So in a nutshell, those are some of the new changes that have come out with the Braille Note Touch since I did my last video, and it's great to see all the work Humanware has done to make the Touch an exciting product. You know, it's probably the best Braille note Humanware has ever made. So I think I've covered everything, so I hope you've enjoyed this, and I promise more Touch videos are on the way. So thank you for watching, and see you in a future video.